some of the governors. Yes. Um, and this is um, like this would be uh, system one. This would be the major one I'd start off with if I was competing and I got to the car position. So this would be my, like, like, like system A and from system A I've got system B and system C. Um, I don't have much more than that and I kind of flow between the A, B and C. Uh, I'm not smart enough to go past C so I just kind of keep it pretty simple. Um, right hand goes in on the same side. The main reason I'm going my right hand in is most people are going to try and pass my guard to my right hand side to their left hand side. So if he does move his hand backwards to try and open my leg, this is going to help the breakdown a lot easier. If he doesn't move his hand, it's now locked in position, which makes it even harder for him to move his hand, because if he does, it's going to get broken down. So I'll work off, off my right hand side, and it's not a cross grip, but it's on the same side. Does everyone understand that? If you don't understand about the guard passing left and right, I still don't. I just, yeah, no. okay, so, here, one. This is the hardest part is, I need to put my head onto the ground, I need to raise my hips a lot because I'm using my anchor to pull my hips up underneath my partner. Right. So what I'm doing is, if my head's up off the ground, I can't do this. So I have a, like a leverage point, I raise my hips, and I'm pulling my hips in, I pull my feet down. In one motion, I do an abdominal punch, I drop my elbow to the side, my hand stays here, comes in, and I'm breaking down. So I, I actually catch a lot of things I'm putting everything onto the right hand side. I make a little hip switch and make it offside. So I want to keep the right or his left shoulder pinned into my chest. I don't want him to words. The reason being is now his, uh, his left hand drive on my chest and my body's compromised. So he's generally going to use more of his right hand driving than his left hand. So right hand, and it doesn't have to be deep, it just has to be, it just has to kind of be like an arm, get quite chest tight. It's, it's hard to get higher than that unless you're quite long and they're quite short. Secondly, so my head goes onto the ground, I'm trying to put my ball spot onto the ground, so it's not here, I'm trying to put my ball spot on the ground. That's what we've got a ball spot. I actually have a full head of hair. <laughs> 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 he said, he called me a liar. <laughs> okay, so here, raise my hips. Hips go down in one motion, break them down, hand goes in, hip switch, and just keep sliding. Keep it super tight to my chest. Okay, let's start that last one, two, three. So the one I'm seeing is the one I'm seeing. Everyone's got this, everyone's doing good. Head on the ground, they're doing good. Breaking down, they're doing good from here. And what I'm seeing here really is they're kind of going right off here. He's just going to use his right hand to pass my guard. But I actually can't stop him from I'm too far offside. So he's just going to put his right hand on my knee, right hand on my head. Oh, and now this is really hard for me to stop. So I, I can't be offside. Oh, there's such a thing as being too far offside. This, this is bad for him and really bad for me. So when I break my palm down, I rip up on the head down, right my hips. Yeah, it's more like this, I go kick and lock. So I'm just, I'm just kicking here, I'm, I'm obviously in the zone. So now, I've got two choices from here. As my partner tries to either use his right hand to push off my belly, or his right hand to open my legs. So you push off my belly, I go cross it. Head on the ground. Hip up, pull the arm, switch, and the arm up super tight. And the arm up super tight. So we'll have a look at that, and then we're going to have a look at if it goes to attack my leg. So grip, head to the ground, raise my hips, break them down, in here, kick the hip, pop, realign, and you push off my body. Come to four fingers. Now, I can't pull the arm across because all his weight on the arm, does that make sense? So head goes to the gut, raise my hips, pull. Now, it's caught between my legs. If he tries to pull his arm out now, my leg's caught there as well. Arms apart, pull the body here, and my legs that way, he's going to pull his weight onto my leg and pass my guard, so I have a frame system. One, okay, nice and easy. Two, 
Watch this. If this is here, Wade can drive his head into me to try and stack me up. That's bad. So I back myself up and pick up for over. He drives into me. Because so I have a lot of attack now. Watch carefully. Clear my knees. So I haven't, I, I still can raise my hips, but the more I flare my hips, the more it isolates it out. Does that make sense? So one, from here, head goes down. And the reason why I don't put my second hand is generally there's too much posture. So I'm not going to get that, that second hand. If I can, I will. Head goes down, head onto the ground, drive my hips nice and high, break my partner down, hand goes in, kick the hip. Boom, hold him, wait for his reaction. As he pushes off my hip, uh, sorry, my stomach, hand goes through, it always goes under, because this will help break it down. This will help break it down. Does that make sense? Foot, one, two, three. Clear my knees, put my feet on the ground. One, two, three. Sorry, Tim, come on, buddy. Um, get the leg around the head. Um, it's often your hip position that's the issue. And it's the way people move their head to line up against the arm causes their hips to move the wrong way. And um, this is really hard to do really hard to explain um, and when you're in the heat of battle it, it's a really hard thing to get by um, but the more you practice it the more it becomes second nature and the more that you can do it so i'm going to try to explain it's going to go so i'm going to just i'm going to go slow so i've got to roll raise my hips Break my partner down, I've got the control, kick the hips, yes you can, come over, push it off, come under me. Now this is the part that I see people that this is the part. I want to get my head over here to the arm bar. Does everyone understand why? If I move my head this way, how am I going to get my foot? Does everyone understand? Okay, so the issue I have is that people get hold of this, they go hip bar, and they'll watch this. Get my head here and move the hips out here. So I'm going to this huge balance. Secondly, if I try to find out my head, it's really more good. Right. 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 Down. It's this. What I do is this, you should almost go 
real fast. So she's going to go, I don't want to get swept, she's going back in, and that's the key to get the arm bar. So she's going in, now the arm bar is going to be.
I'm not, I'm not yeah, trying to, I'm, 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 if you don't defend my choke properly, this choke is so deep, I'm going to put you in, in about three or four seconds. I'll show you. No. <laughs> Two attacks from the full guard. Let's have a good shot at that guy's point. Just wait. 